Welcome to Cambridge. With King's College Chapel as our backdrop, we only have 24 hours and limited daylight. So, let's get going. Welcome to Cambridge. We have a 20 minute walk into the city center. So let's get going. You could take in the flora and fauna at the Cambridge University Botanic Garden. It costs seven pounds to get in. We don't have time for that today. Or seven pounds for that matter. It's great that these cultural icons are still being put to good use. This place looks interesting. It is called The Emperor. It's a Peru fusion and bar. Maybe later? That's sure. I wonder if there's any sign of Hilda Ogden today. Ah, gleaming spires, or at least one. It does remind me a little bit of Oxford. Ignore the name and ignore, in part, the title. It should really be Marcus Mann, executive producer. Look, Marcus, there is a big John Lewis. And look, it's on Downing Street. This is Cambridge Marketplace. There are so many stalls behind me. So many food stalls, gifts, and lots of other things to keep you occupied. So let's get browsing. Did you order that lunch, Paul? I think so. And that's a small one. Sure does. Thank you. Contactless, napkins. Thank you very much. Uh, separate payments? Uh, no, together. Uh, well, yeah. Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> With two tuna. Oh, wow. <laughs> and ready. Perfect. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Wow, we're being very international here today. Look, churros all the way from Spain. Mmm, oh my goodness. And that chocolate. It is so chocolatey. Didn't he say it is made with um, soy or something? Mm. He did. He said it's made with soya. <laughs> Do you taste any difference between soya and milk? It, it seems creamier for some reason. Really? Okay. Mm. Bon appetit! Okay, enjoy yours too, Paul! Like any university city, you've got to watch out for the bicycles.
great St Mary's Church stands in the centre of bustling Cambridge. Great St Mary's is built to a late Gothic style. You can climb the tower at Great St Mary Church. It's 123 steps. I don't think I've got the energy to do that today. This is King's College behind us. Now you may not recognise the building itself, but I'm sure you would know it's chapel, because that is where Carols from King's is broadcast every Christmas Eve on BBC Two. And we're going to have a look right now. Well, a nice tour guide at King's College told us that for the iconic view of the chapel, we have to walk through this green, and then we shall be able to see it from the back because the college itself is not open to the public and the chapel is not open to the public either. Um, so the only way to see it is to do quite a detour around this green, but it is quite a nice walk on a relatively dry day like this. So let's get walking! Look, there it is, King's College Chapel. You can just imagine watching this on Christmas Eve, it's all lit up. And a little fun fact for you, I do believe, I say a fact and then I say believe, but I believe it to be true that they tape the Easter special at around the same time as the Christmas Eve edition. The chapel dates back to the 1440s. Well, it looks as though we have some grazing cows at King's College Chapel. And just sort of in the middle of the frame, you can see the punters on the River Cam. One of the most popular things to do in Cambridge is to go punting on the River Cam. Well behind us is the Corpus Clock and the tour guide has just been telling us that it only tells the time correctly every five minutes so that's not much good is it Paul? No, not at all. At least this clock seems to tell the correct time, all the time. Behind me is the Fitzwilliam Museum, filled with art and artefacts from around the world. Do you know where Cambridge is? All these lovely little shops. Nomads, I can smell the incest from here. So they come in here. Wow, look at all these lovely postcards. Oh wow, look at all these lovely toys. These are sheaths. They're very expensive. I don't think I've ever heard of them. They're very exclusive. Oh. Look, 
a cat and a mouse sitting next to each other. And this one's lying down. It's tired. Time for shopping, Marcus? Yes, indeed. Cambridge does have a very busy city centre. It's got all the usual high street shops that you can imagine. Now look, there's even a Boots. I think it's time to stock up on masks. This is Holy Trinity Church in Cambridge. Since I haven't been to the one in New York City for such a long time, this will just have to do for now. So what did you get at Waterstones? My next read. Ah, Roger Federer, the master. Of course. So we have a little bit more um, looking around and shopping to do before things close at six o'clock. So let's get going. We are staying at the Ibis at Cambridge Central Station and I was able to redeem two free drinks. This is courtesy of my status with Acor Hotels. So another good reason to be joining. Don't forget to subscribe. You haven't subscribed yet? What's keeping you? It's really easy. Just hit the subscribe button. Thanks. This is day two of our Cambridge overnight stay. And we've had a fabulous night's sleep. The best sleep that I've had in months, to be honest. So yes, the Ibis in Cambridge, a thumbs up from me. <laughs> okay, let's get going. So this is Mill Road, Marcus. What do you think? I would say it is like Camden Town on fewer steroids. For the coffee aficionado, there is Five Blends Coffee House at Covent Garden. Just off Mill Road is Parker's Peace, a lovely peaceful park. Hello birdies. So we're walking through Parker's Peace and it is a rather cloudy day but the green is fabulous and we've just walked underneath the weed well I think it's time to head back into town for lunch 
And it is indeed time for lunch now. And we've met our lovely friend Peter. Hello. Who's a local. And I thought, how about we ask Peter if everything we have done so far has been the right, we've seen the, have we seen the right stuff? Have we gone to the right places? So what did you see? Well, what I really wanted to see was King's College Chapel because every year, um, Carols from Kings on Christmas Eve, always watch that. And there's just that iconic view. And we got to see it by walking around the back after seeing a tour guide. Do you think that was a good a good place to start? That was definitely the best place to start. Um, I've always wanted to go to Carols uh, at Kings as well, and never been able to because it's a very very exclusive uh, yeah. audience for that. <laughs> Ticket um, only, I think. <laughs> uh, the only way you can actually walk through the uh, Kings College Chapel is by running the Cambridge Half Marathon, which is a little bit uh, perhaps extreme. That's yeah. the only time it's open to the public, but. Um, but you obviously got the good view, so that was good. We got the good view, and of course we also got to walk by the river as well, and, yes. and saw some punting. Oh, Didn't very good. Yes, yes, we uh, we weren't punters ourselves. But. <laughs> it's very good, um, very good punting uh, in Cambridge. Obviously, uh, you can. I don't know if they they're available at the moment. Well, they are. They were. Yes, we saw so them. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can do chauffeured punts. As well, well, I was just going to say, very, very good. Yeah, um, we saw them. But uh, next time. Uh, in, definitely. in better weather. In better weather. Yes, 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 yes. And the other thing, of course, no matter where you go, there are churches everywhere and the bells are ringing. And um, I, I guess a lot of the churches are attached to the colleges as well. Uh, a lot of them are, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, in fact, that's probably the best way that you can get, uh, get in to see a little bit of the life of the colleges at the moment because, um, again, the colleges have particular open days where you can go around but most of the time they are closed uh, and you just see them from outside but inside they are fabulous places as well and uh, perhaps the churches is the uh, is the best way to sort of see the life of the colleges yes. and the other thing i mean i've i lived in albingham outside oxford the opposition <laughs> cambridge for, for, for a while and of course obviously you've got the similarities the two main university cities um, but you know, I, I, Cambridge has a different sort of feel to it. I can't put my finger on it exactly, but it's better. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> the local will say that. <laughs> no, it's, it, it has been a very enjoyable time. It's been very busy as well. The, 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 it's got a very bustling uh, city centre. Yes, yeah. Um, but the great thing about Cambridge is that most places are very walkable. Mm. It's quite a, a small yeah. city centre. Yeah. And it, it's obviously got the gold colleges, but you've got. You've got the river, you've got theatres, you've got lots of uh, good restaurants and things. Hopefully, we're about to go in one. Yes, um, yes. And uh, but it's all uh, it's all very compact. Yes, so you that can is, walk. That is true. Places. That is true. Okay, well, I think it is time for lunch now. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Bye for now. Let's go eat. For whom the bell tolls, it looks as though our time in Cambridge has come to an end. Oh, really? Yes, but it's been a great 24 hours and you could spend a lot longer here to explore all the various sites. You certainly can. What was your highlight, Paul? Maybe some shopping. <laughs> well, for me, I think it was definitely the visit to King's College Chapel. Anyway, we will see you next time. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.